Hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the Barbosa versus Ramirez is on video as undefeated junior welterweight contender Arnold Barbosa Jr. is set to battle and take on his toughest test to date when he battles former unified junior welterweight champ Jose Ramirez as they will collide on the Riyadh season undercard. Excuse me to uh, Bill and Smith and Gilberto Ramirez as they collide for the cruiserweight title now before we get into that if you can smash the like button leave a comment or subscribe to the channel i really do appreciate any and all support that i can get as i continue to build my channel here so this fight right here is a big golden boy card that's taking place from riyadh saudi arabia part of riyadh season uh you got a, a arnold barbosa jr in pretty much the biggest fight of his career when he battles former unified champion jose ramirez both these guys are with golden boy now both have a lot to prove. And if you look at the stat sheet in terms of age, height, and reach, they are virtually identical. The only advantage here is Ramirez's one-inch height advantage. They have the same reach, and they are both 32 years old. Um, but here's the disadvantage. Gilberto, uh, um, Jose Ramirez has the better experience by far. He's a former unified world champ. He started young. You know, if you remember, he won his world his first world title back in 2018. He then unified belts against Maurice Hooker um, and then ended up in 2021 losing when he attempted to become the undisputed champion and almost got knocked out, but uh, closed the fight strong and lost a close decision to Josh Taylor in that undisputed title fight back in 2021. But since then, he's only fought once per calendar year, defeating um, Jose Pedraza. Then he defeated Richard Comey, the former lightweight champ. And then this year returned and uh, took on, uh, Jesus, what was his name? Um, former two-division champion Rancis Bartholemy and actually got hurt in that fight, but ended up uh, winning a unanimous decision, but kind of a close fight. Um, but again, once per calendar year. Then you got uh, Mr. Barbosa, who has fought twice this year for Golden Boy, but in his last fight, he really went tooth and nail, and a lot of people can argue that he lost that fight against Sean McComb as he escaped with a split decision victory. So Arnold Barbosa, not a big puncher. He's undefeated, 30-0, and 0, 11 knockouts, though. So only a third of his fights have ended by knockout. Um, his best win to date was over Jose Pedraza, which ended by a decision. Um, we're going to see what he's made of in this fight. Jose Ramirez has far more experience. And um, there, you know, he has the better punching power. This is going to be a good scrap right here. These two guys are going to chuck, and I'm looking forward to seeing who comes out because this is a true crossroads fight. It's it's Barbosa trying to prove if he is ready for the next big step, and it's Ramirez trying to prove if he is still an elite junior welterweight. And the junior welterweight 140 is just huge. It's blowing up. And there's so much talent at 140. So a lot riding for the winner here. And it's on a big card. It's Riyadh season. These two guys are going to chuck. It's the co-main event. Barbosa Jr. versus Ramirez is on Saturday, November 16th on DAZN pay-per-view, uh, part of Riyadh season. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. And you've been hit with the truth.